some homemade DIY Christmas decor by 5 Minute Crafts and TikTok. Let's see what the first one is. So the first thing we're gonna need is a pool noodle. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some red duct tape and then we just start wrapping it up on here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I have to somehow twist it into a spiral shape and hot glue it into place. Here we go. Be real careful. Hot glue is very hot, as we've learned in previous videos. Oh, that's just some hot glue. Oh, yes. You see that? That's how you get it in there. Okay, now we carefully do the next one. Oh my gosh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. This is coming from the Craft King, everybody. I think the tape might have made it even harder to twist. And it's actually melting the pool noodle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat on a lower temperature so we don't get this crazy melt. It's in the back of it, uh, so I don't think it matters that much. Oh God, this does not want to stay. Ah, oh, it's so hot! This thing just doesn't want to stay together. We got some burns. That's not good. Okay. Ah! It's still hot. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this all together using my ah my strength. I'm just gonna strengthfully twist this together into a spiral. Five minute crafts made it look so easy. Come on. Ah! Ah! That's still very hot! <laughs> then I'm gonna grab my drill with my extremely long drill bit and just shove it right in there. Now we're gonna grab some rebar and just shove it right up in there. We did it! It was a little bit of an adventure. It was a little bit scary at times, but we freaking did it. I just used rebar because it was the only thing I had laying around that was, you know, stick shaped. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap some tape over it just to make it look like a white stick. Wow! That actually turned out really nice. And our lollipop is complete! We're supposed to technically put like a wrapping over it, but you know what? I kind of like this without the wrapping on it. Like it looks so nice. Just ignore this side. It's kind of a burnt mess. Just ignore it. But this side looks fantastic. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this five minute crafts decor hack absolutely works. Who wants to get smacked around with my giant lollipop? Me, I do, I do. Uh, right here. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Merry Krampus! <laughs> so for this one, we're gonna need some foam. I couldn't find any pieces that were big enough, so I'm gonna have to hot glue these two together. Okay, hopefully this doesn't melt the foam too bad. But I'm just gonna be real careful. Just do a layer of hot glue on this side. Now we're gonna carefully just squish these two together. I'm gonna go ahead and break out this giant clamp that I got from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit while it dries. Ten seconds later. Now how are we holding up? Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually very sturdy. So now I'm gonna try and attempt to draw a gingerbread man. So it looks like we start off with a round head. I almost wanna get like a bucket or something. Oh, a bucket or something. We're gonna start off with our very round head. This head is just so round. It kinda goes off onto his shoulders. The whole drawing goes off onto his shoulders. And then he has a little arm, kinda comes out. And he's like, yay, I'm a gingerbread man. Oh God, I feel like I'm making him very skinny now. Oh, that does not look good. He looks very just okay, so I don't know how to fix okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start over. Oh, at least the head turned out good. We're gonna start over, that's what the backside's for. Guys, I got this wacky idea where we use a projector on a C stand to project the gingerbread man. That way I get a perfect little gingerbread man. It's a perfect idea! I'm gonna try it. I saw this on Pinterest and you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Actually, I didn't see it on Pinterest. I made this up on the spot. <gasps> Let's see if this works. Oh, I see the gingerbread man. You can see it? Can you change the orientation for me? Yes, sir. <gasps> Look at that gingerbread man! So we managed to get the projector to project a perfect little gingerbread man. I have to put it slightly askew on here because uh, I wanted him to be nice and big and this one is waving and he's just hanging out and he's being a great guy so we're gonna go ahead and outline him oh yes easy peasy okay and theoretically we should have a gingerbread man outline and we do it works Woo! 
Now we just have to cut it out. It's time to cut our gingerbread man. You're a monster. I brought three knives just to see which one would be the easiest to use. So far, no go. Let's try you. Ugh. Still kind of hard to cut with this. What about the flat one? The flat one might be the move. Look at that, that just slices through it like butter. And also it's a way cleaner cut. I think we discovered a new method called the fire method where we're just gonna get the knife super hot and just cut through it like butter. Look, look, look at, oh, what? Dude, I didn't realize this was a hot knife challenge. Okay, I'm switching to the, the hot knife method. We're gonna be cooking with fire now. Oh, that's so much easier. Wow. At least I'm not fighting with it. Let me get such clean lines. Now we spray paint this bad boy. Five minutes later. Oh my gosh, that's like solid. Okay, now that that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Do the other side. Okay, now that he's nice and spray painted, we have to bring him to life. Breathe, dang you! Breathe! You're not dying on me yet. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, uh. How's that? Are you alive now? Oh, thank you so much for bringing me to life! You're not finished yet, you're not complete. For now, you sleep. Thank you. And now, we're gonna add some gumdrop buttons. I'm gonna do this by cutting these bad boys in half. These are just tennis balls that I got at the dollar store. <laughs> that would've probably been a better idea. Turns out cutting a ball in half is way harder than I thought. Oh God, I almost stabbed myself. Okay, now we just add his little gumdrop buttons. That looks so nice. Look at him go. Which one's it in? Which one's it in? We're gonna go ahead and hot glue these bad boys right on. Guys, should I change my, my saying to peace, love, and hot glue? Let me know down in the comments down below. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the outline. I'm gonna use some rope. I didn't have fancy rope, I only had white rope. It's okay, it looks like white frosting, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and glue this bad boy right on there. And now, just gotta hot glue the two ends together. Boom! We now have ourselves a gingerbread man. Well, we have to flip his eyes over, actually. Okay, we now have ourselves a gingerbread man! Ready? What the heck did you do? What do you mean, Toby? <laughs> Are these tennis balls? They are, Toby. <gasps> Have our brand new gingerbread friend. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this absolutely works. Dude, this is awesome. Look it. I have a giant gingerbread man friend now. <laughs> We're the best of friends. Now we can sing and we can dance. La, 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 la. Come on, little gingerbread friend. Let's go. <laughs> I love going on adventures with you. Looks like I'm gonna be turned into a human Christmas tree. But for this one, I'm gonna need some help. A lantern! Hidden camera guy! Yeah, Robbie, we're here! <laughs> okay, guys, I got a very important mission for you. I'm gonna need you to wrap this garland all around me. Sounds like fun. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my belt loop, and then you tie this one to my other belt loop. How come he gets to tie it to your belt loop? Yeah. Do you even know how to tie knots? You, <laughs> it'll come with experience. Okay guys, I'm just gonna yeah. spin and you guys just go crazy. In three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, let's go. How's it looking? Well, oh, wait, wait, maybe give you like a, like a unit. Oh, yeah. oh, high fashion. Guys, I think we need more garland. Anymore? I'm a little dizzy right now. So we got this electric lazy Susan that I'm just gonna stand on and you guys are gonna spin. And I'm just gonna stand on it, it's gonna spin me automatically. I don't even have to spin anymore. Luckily guys, we have a lot more garland. Just wrap all this around me, I'm gonna become a giant tree. Okay, and I'm slowly spinning. I feel like we could go faster. Is there a way to go even faster? So it looks like the rotating thing isn't working. So you guys just have to run all the way around me. Sorry. Okay, I'm definitely looking very treeified. Are you guys ready to decorate me? Woo! Let's do it! Let's do the decoration! Stop, stop, stop! Part, dude. Like, Robbie, come on, man. You're tearing me apart! 
did it. Well guys, they did it. I'm now a human Christmas tree, and I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How am I gonna get out of this? You're we don't living in it. You're staying in it forever. Am this just, is your home. Am I staying in this the yep. rest of the video? You got a shower in it. All right, Trevor and I are going on lunch. Later. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut myself out. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a ball. Whoa. Some tin foil, some string, and of course you can't forget your hot glue gun. Oh yeah, nice and hot. So the first thing we're gonna start off doing is making our tin foil ball. Just wanna crumble them up real good. This isn't the tin. Oh, my hand in the hot. Whoa! Be real careful. Hot glue is very hot. So anyway, as I was saying, guys, this isn't the tin foil ball challenge. We're not trying to make a tight tin foil ball. We're just trying to make a um, regular tin foil ball. Just minimum effort, nothing too crazy. There we go, two down. Now a bunch more to go. Okay, so now that we have all of our tin foil balls, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping some of them in some yarn. Some fancy yarn, make it look real fancy. We got some blues, we got some pinks, we got some greens. We got your rainbow, okay? Hear me out. Wait, we want this to be like Christmas themed, don't we? Here's a good green. Okay, time to start wrapping some balls. And now it's time to start hot gluing them to our foam ball. Let's hope this doesn't completely melt the foam ball. Oh, there we go. Okay, just stick it right on there. Beautiful. Does it stay? It like instantly stays. So now I just gotta cover this whole thing in them. Oh, okay guys, and here it is. Our giant um, <laughs> ball of tin foil. It's pretty majestic, I'm not gonna lie. Now I just have to hang it up somewhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a hook. Screw that right in there. Perfect. Okay, then we attach our rope. Okay, we're pulling this bad boy up. It's going up to the sky. Whoa, it's like a star. Trap craft corner. Okay, now that the lights are off, let's put the party lights on. Yeah! Whoa, it's a party! Look at us! Woo! Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. And now we have a disco ball in the craft corner. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna need is a pot. Then we're gonna need a spinning platform. It doesn't actually need to spin, but this is the only golden platform we had, and this is the one I'm gonna use. Then we need some carpets and something to hold this bad boy up. So I went in the desert and I found this piece of rebar. So now we just have to cut it down a little bit. Still gonna wear my hat, too. Okay, let's do this. So now we're gonna draw a hole for our rebar to go into. And I'm gonna do it at an angle. Now it should just go, oh! That is very side heavy. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get any better. Maybe rebar isn't the move. Okay, so I found these things up in my attic. I have no idea what they, oh, I'm gonna try and break this bad boy. Oh, that's perfect. You just need something solid, you know? You can use whatever you got at home. Take apart your TV, I'm sure you'll find something. Don't take apart your TV, please. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now I'm just gonna hot glue it in place. My favorite kind of engineering is over-engineering because then you never have to do it again. Making sure this bad boy still spins. Oh yes, it still spins. Now, we break out our balls. We're gonna start gluing them on, I guess. Okay guys, and it's all done! Look at that! I think adding it to a rotating platform made it way cooler. Look how solid that is! What? Woo! <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay guys, so I don't have any PVC pipe on hand, but I do have this hanging canopy thing. Oh my gosh, oh god, oh god. How close was I to the camera? I got it at the thrift store. I did find them on Amazon though for about 80 bucks if you guys wanna do this at home. I just figured a hanging Christmas tree sounded way cooler. Whoa, 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 whoa. My 
very dizzy now. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm gonna... Oh. oh god, I'm gonna puke. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Oh, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. If this gets 10,000 likes, I'll spin in this bad boy for a year. Oh, please don't do that. So I might have went a little bit overboard with buying the garland. Originally, I did think I was gonna be making this giant Christmas tree. You know, I might use all this garland on this. Maybe. So I'm gonna try hot gluing it first, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to sew it, which I really don't want to do. <laughs> You know what they say? Hot glue is very hot. It's not a Robbie video, unless I burn myself with the hot glue gun. I love third degree burns, I mean. That's my favorite part of every Robbie video. But it does appear that our garland is in fact holding. Now I have to do this basically all the way down. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is taking way too long, so I actually recruited the hidden camera guy! We actually have two hot glue guns, and we use so much hot glue that it actually becomes cold, and it won't spit any more hot glue out. So we're gonna switch between us with the hot glue guns, and we'll just take turns. But this is gonna be so much faster! I also decided to safety pin the door shut, that way we can just glue it right on top of it, and then afterwards we're gonna cut the door out. Then we'll have a door. Dude, I don't even know if it'll fold down anymore. Okay, I put it on a table. Oh, what? Oh my God, it's actually folding down. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Lazy Susan. A big old piece of round wood, fit right on top. That's fine. Everything's fine with this. Oh God. I'll take it. So. Uh, and there we go. But does it spin? It doesn't really spin. <laughs> you know, it was good in theory. Um, I tried, I genuinely tried. Okay, we're gonna try the old two by four trick. But does it spin? Oh, we're spinning. Ah! We went ahead and blew it up a little bit to help it hold its shape. It has like a little blow up cushion inside of it with a little zipper. Oh, okay, that took a while. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up and see if this actually worked. Okay, going up. Oh boy. A hanging Christmas tree. Oh wait, where's the door? We forgot to cut out the door. Okay, now we're cutting out the door holes. Where is it? Uh, I might have messed up, guys. I don't know where the door went. I actually don't know where the door went. What the? I'm gonna figure this out, and we'll be right back. I need wire cutters. I'm gonna have to wire cut out the safety pins. Oh, that's not even the edge. How many safety pins did we put in? There's like a breathing hole. We could get a GoPro and shove it in there and see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going in. I'm really curious to know what it looks like. This light penetrate this wonderful forest? I'm gonna spin you around. And your home. Okay guys, I decided to just call it a day and I am gonna skip the whole safety pin thing um, and try and unsafety pin it and just cut it. I'm just gonna cut myself a new slit, a new door, a new opportunity. Okay guys, I'm going in. Oh God, can I even see if this, this does, if this will even hold me? How is that? Okay. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna try and get inside of it. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, I've been consumed! <laughs> I have eaten Robbie! Here, hand me the camera. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks. Wow, this is actually really cool. It's a little cramped because it's kind of small, but overall, this is awesome. I guess I could line it too. I could totally camp in here. I'm already getting kind of warm. Like I could like go camping in the snow. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do that. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'll make a giant one. I forgot the best part of this is it also came with fairy lights. You ready? Oh, look, they still work. Cause it's for $40. Really good modification. <laughs> Okay guys, 
so now it's time to add the lights. I ended up going with lights with little battery packs. That way I didn't have to plug in my hanging canopy because then, you know, it spins and then the extension cord will get all tangled up in it. That sounds like a mess. So that's why we went with the battery powered ones. And luckily inside of this cabana, there's actually a little pouch we can put these bad boys in. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little slit and that way I can just insert them into the pouch. Now that I got them all plugged in, just gotta keep decorating this bad boy. There's gonna be so many lights on this tree. Oh wow, look at that! Dude, that's actually so cool in the dark. Dude, this honestly looks so cool. Next, we're gonna add some Christmas ornaments. The way I used to do it as a kid is I would just get the ornament and I'd just throw it and hopefully it would catch onto the tree. Did you guys do this? Let me know down in the comments down below. It usually helps if there's branches. I used to be so good at this. Oh! Okay, I guess I'll just put it on the normal way then. And there we go, guys. Our hanging Christmas tree is done! Dude, this turned out so cool. Really happy with this. And you can even go inside of it still. See, guys? I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay. Mommy! Let me know what you guys think about this guy down in the comments down below. I think it turned out so cool. Honestly, this was a 10 out of 10 craft, and it was original. Go me. Good job, me. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Looks like this fight right down there. Down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite craft was. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye. Merry Craftmas. Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft mystery, oh, how the glue kind